I get asked two questions fairly often. First one is, what's in the loft? It's a secret. The other one is, what are those? <laughs> So today, I'm gonna to talk about what these are. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I use these little guys very often. And these are actually from Bridge City Toolworks, and they're called the Miter Stitch Set. The only problem is they don't make them anymore. So today, I'm gonna to show you a homemade version of one of these, and then how I use them to get really nice fitting joints in my furniture. So the first step is to make a couple of these, and of course I'm using Baltic birch plywood. I've got plenty of scraps of this stuff, so I use it all the time in situations like this. So all I'm doing is really just freehanding this similar shape onto a piece of plywood. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm taking it to the bandsaw and cutting it out. These little clamping blocks are designed with a 45 degree angle on one end and I think like a 22 and a half degree angle on the other side. I've been able to clamp just about any angled joint that I've come up with with just a couple of these. Once I have them cut out, I'll then cut small strips of sandpaper and glue them to the bottom of the clamping block with just some regular spray adhesive. Super quick, super easy. Now for the purpose of this video, I just cut a couple scraps of poplar with just arbitrary angles. So in this case, I have a slightly obtuse joint once they're glued together. Of course, an obtuse angle, if we remember from geometry class, is any angle larger than 90 degrees or how a lot of people would define my jokes. I also cut in dominoes into joints like this or of course you could use dowels or if the joint is big enough you could use something like a biscuit. But all this does is just keep everything aligned when clamping it up and allows the glue up to go a lot smoother. So once I have everything ready to go, I need to determine the placement of these clamping blocks. And this is kind of the most important part of the whole process. So what I first do is dry fit my joint, and then I measure and mark the center of the joint. From there, I draw a straight line that's perpendicular to the line of the joint out to the ends of the workpiece. What I'm doing here is establishing where I want my clamping pressure to come from. Now once I have those lines marked out, I then place my clamping blocks at the ends of those lines and then determine which end of the clamping block I think is gonna work best in any given situation. Once I know how I want the clamping blocks oriented, I then clamp them on to each individual workpiece. And an important thing to think about here is I want to clamp these on in a way that my clamps aren't gonna interfere with each other once I bring the two pieces together. So once the clamping blocks are in place, I can now of course add some glue and add my final clamp, which will then bring that joint together nice and tight. Then just let the glue set up, give it a little bit of sanding, and you should be good to go. Let's go check it out. So there you go. Doesn't, uh, doesn't get much better than that. Nice tight joint, two thumbs up for that. So hopefully this helps someone that's been wondering what those clamping blocks are or if you've been struggling trying to get those miter joints nice and tight. And of course, 
Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And as always, I've got a good one this week. Keep those joints clamped and stay amped.